In this situation, we're going to lift this limb up. We're actually going to tie the lowering off to the tip of the limb, and using some power, we're going to lift it up. Why would I use this technique? Maybe I have an obstacle below, power lines, a house, something where I don't want to allow the limb to drop down and come and get in the way. So here we're going to use this, this tip tying and lifting. Now, something I'd like to introduce here is the concept of moment. Moment is a force acting some distance from a pivot point. In this situation, the force is going to be our lowering line actually lifting out here at the tip of this limb. Now, because moment is a product of a force acting some distance from a pivot point, in this case, the pivot point will be here at the hinge. The force is going to be the lowering line tied off near the tip of the limb. The limb is what we call the moment arm. I can increase my moment by either increasing the magnitude of the moment arm, moving the lowering line further towards the tip, or by increasing the force on the lowering line as we lift it up in this situation. What I am, what is most important here is the amount of force as it acts perpendicularly to the moment arm. Moment can be an advantage or a disadvantage. In this case, it's going to be an advantage because I can tie the, the lowering line onto the tip of the limb. If I were in a redirect rigging situation where I was redirecting the, the rigging point off towards the end of a limb by increasing moment, that could be a major disadvantage because that could put a lot of undue force onto the system. Now, let's look at the components of the rigging system here. I've set my primary rigging block above. Notice that I've used a, a rigging sling to back up the rigging point, give it a little bit of extra uh, beef. This will help absorb some of the, the forces as we go through the rigging. Now, I want to make sure that I've tied my rigging block high enough so that when we lift the limb up, the knot won't come in and get snagged into the block. I'll be able to lift it up vertical. Now, another thing that's also very important is if I can get the rigging block directly above where I'm making the cut, my pivot point, then that will reduce the amount of swing that may occur once the, the piece is free. If I can't do that, if I have a rigging point that's out a distance and not lined up uh, directly above, then I'll probably want to employ a tag line here to the butt end of the piece and that way we'd be able to control the swinging because this can be very dangerous if the piece were to get away and swing around. Now, as you can tell here, this limb is a pretty beefy limb. We're going to need some power to help lift it. So we've run the lowering line down to the porter wrap and I've got my ground workers running the, the lowering line through the porter wrap and they're going to add on some fiddle blocks. 